Hey guys, Anfinim here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video, and this is a custom escape map called Caboosecraft, and, uh, Escape from the DKY Jail. Apparently, you are convict- you are convict wrongly put into D the DKY Jail. You were accused of murder in the first degree, you've been here for nine years, and you can't take it anymore. You devised a plan to escape this terrible place. The officer is on his lunch break, time to escape. Uh, time to get the hell out of here. Now, my question is, why is every single, the first letter of every single word capitalized? Uh, that's kind of confusing, with the exception of the word and. A uh, little confusing, a little bit misleading. Should have them in all caps, in my opinion, but no matter. Um, but with me today, uh, we have my friends, uh, keep my keyboard, my mouse, and a nice creamy glass of chocolate milk. <laughs> no, no sex jokes, please. All right, okay. Enough, enough horsing around, let's figure out uh, what the secret hints are and what this is all about. Welcome to Caboosecraft. This is Escape from DKY Jail. Rule 1, do not break any blocks other than that wall. The example. Rule 2, you may, bra you may break blocks when told to. Does, does that mean to say you may only break blocks when told to? Do not use wool to your advantage. I'm glad it says that one because that means that I can't actually use the wool that I get. A lot of maps, they just sort of leave you with the wool. There are diamond hidden th diamonds hidden throughout the map. Post the amount you find in the comment section on the form. By form, you means the download section, and I'll, I'll have it just I'll have the link to the to that in my map. So can I mess with this or no? It doesn't actually say if I can. It says you may break blocks when told to. Uh, secret hint, I'm guessing that means always check on the water. Looks like there's another sign up there, too. Try and jump into paintings. And then secret hint number three, look for hidden buttons, levers, and pressure pads. Uh, so I'm guessing really at any time I can hit the wall, because uh, this is kind of what I'm guessing here. Let's see, let's see what's behind here, if anything. And there's a chest chest with diamonds so it seems like i can break pretty much any wool that i want to uh it doesn't i don't think there's going to be anything under the bed there so let's get going so the whole message here that says uh you may break blocks when told to i'm guessing that means like stone blocks and stuff uh blocks that are not wool so let's just go with that and since i can't use these to my advantage i'm just going to toss them as soon as i uh as soon as they're right there all right so it looks like i got a bunch of blocks above me I'm going to try and toss these as often as I can, but, uh, no promises. I'm going to go down here real quick, make sure I'm not missing any. Looks like I'm not. Alright, we got ourselves a blank room, and it says, Looks like this cell's been empty for a while. Maybe someone broke out. Surprised no monsters have spawned in here. Oh. Look, sounded like another door opened. Let's go back. That's interesting. Huh. Alrighty then, so it looks like that opened the door to my cell bunch of different cells here all kinds of wool all over the ground janitor's closet wonder what could be in here maybe this dirt can be used for something there's dirt and another piece of diamond Alrighty then looks like we're making some progress all right so what next it says to search for all sorts of hidden areas and but it looks like i have a checkpoint room over here which i think i'll have a bed checkpoint one checkpoint two Checkpoint 3 and checkpoint 4. I'm guessing I should probably go to checkpoint 1 first, considering uh, I haven't really dealt with any of these yet. So let's, let's check these out. I wasn't aware that this was going to be like, a, a, like a, uh, a maze sort of style game. Hmm. Not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. And I know of a glitch that I can do where I can open open these switches through doors. I don't think a lot of people who make maps actually know about this, because I don't, I don't think I'm supposed to do this. Checkpoint one, or am I supposed to do that? I'm not really sure. I'm going to assume not, though, uh, just because of the way, just because of the way I know most people intend to make these. I don't think that's what I was supposed to do. So let's head back here really quick, uh, just to double check. Uh, maybe checkpoint two. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume none of these right now. Actually, though, interesting thought. If I were to come through any of these doors and this lever to, were not to be hit, I'd be trapped in there, too. So I'm going to hit all of these right now, just to leave them open. And I'm going to figure out what's in the officer's quarter here. The officer quarters. There's got to be a way to get in there. All these jumps 
are possible. Okay, I'll figure that out later. Officer out, be back after lunch. Just have to jump into any pa any any kinds of paintings. So I just wanted to be sure. I think it. Okay, I was gonna say I think I think it just did that just to try and make you feel like an idiot, but apparently not, cause uh, I got myself some more diamond. So we're up to three. It said I wonder if this dirt can be useful, but it hasn't. Doesn't hasn't. Oh. I I bet I know what that dirt's for now. Then I can't place the dirt, but I can use it to open up a door. There's got to be a way to get in there. Looks like the creeper got into the watchtower. Looks like a creeper got into the watchtower. Always check underwater. I need to be very careful here. Ooh, and it looks like we got ourselves a piece of wool here, so I'm going to go after this. It kind of sucks that it takes so long to actually dig out the wool, but you know what? It's got, Ooh, and that got me two diamonds for being clever. Um, let's make sure I'm not missing another one. Doesn't, doesn't look like it. Can't destroy any of the sand because I haven't been told to. Doesn't look like there's any more, so let's get going. And let's get going quick. I'm still not sure if I have to do anything with those checkpoints yet. Uh, I'm kind of hoping not. It's like checkpoint room. It's got to be a way to get in there. Looks like this is a way up. I'm going to go through the checkpoint room now since it sort of seems like I'm being let out of here. I want to figure out uh, what the lava maze here is all about. I'm guessing there's like different parts to this and like you can... Uh, it's a checkpoint because if you actually make it through the lava maze and you screw up, you start back at the jail cell. Which allows you to go all the way back here. Because, uh, yeah, see there's a switch there. Choose your path. So actually, uh, yeah, okay. So it doesn't look like I was supposed to go through these yet. So I'm just going to play this game the safe way. Even though uh, that is a good note for anyone who makes Minecraft maps in the future, or even like the Jebber Notch, that you shouldn't be able to open up doors using switches from the other side. I mean, that kind of defeats the entire purpose of actually having it. I am still going to leave these open, though. It does seem like the smart idea to do. Uh, all right, so let's... Let's go through this door here before the, the actual uh, dirt block goes away and I end up screwing myself over. All right, all of these jumps are possible. If you and if you die in this map, by the way, uh, you do have to restart over. But this is all water, so I don't have to worry about dying. And I should download. I saw like on the Minecraft forum a parkour map, and I kind of feel like downloading that because I am one for being for having like just challenging jumps in general. And uh, apparently this is probably going to consist of like 10 minutes of me falling. Though there aren't that many levels for me to actually screw up on. I have a feeling my dryer is going to go off here in a minute. I'm doing laundry and stuff of that sort. I thought I was going to miss that jump. Uh, I wish I could fly, but I turned my mods off for this very reason. What does that say down there? Looks like a... Oh yeah, the creeper got into the watchtower sign. I totally missed that. I hear fire. I don't want to miss these jumps. There should be invisible blocks that you can hit. Like, maybe Jeb should add something like that. Like, have you ever guys ever played, uh, what is it, Super Mario Frustration? Let me check for any hidden switches along the wall here. If you've ever played Super Mario Frustration, there's uh, a whole bunch of jumps in that. Where if you make, you have to jump, but a, ran, a hidden block will hit you right in the area where you need to jump. So you have to jump actually a little bit sooner. But you always hit, you always end up hitting that invisible block, and it's really, really annoying. Have you, got, you guys ever played that? Because I have, and it is just, it's brutality. Alright, I'm on this block here. Let's see if I can... Oh, looks like I have to punch out that wall. Cool, got myself another diamond. I don't think I was actually supposed to get that quite yet, but you know what? Finders keepers. Alright. So it looks like I got ourselves a closed door and a whole ton of switches in that room over there. Alright, and then one final jump it seems like to really just complete it. I have a feeling I'm going to miss it. No, I am not. Alright, so we got ourselves a switch here. Alright, so this seems checkpoint one. I'm going to open this up just to signify that I have in fact made it. I could have cheated my way through this whole thing just by going to checkpoint four and hitting the switch that was right next to the door. So, passcode... Door, a passcode door. Great. Three, one, four, two. Nope. Oh. Okay. So apparently it's one, two, and four that opens up the door. 
and if I modify the code at all, it just closes. Excellent. So, one, two, and four is the combination. I didn't even know that. Hmm, lucky guess. Indeed it was. Now what? Hidden button. Hidden button. Looks like you're gonna have to jump. Uh, okay. First, th first things first, though. I see wool. Hmm. Uh... Alright. Oh, that's easy. I totally forgot about this. Though it does say to check underwater, so I'm gonna be sure that I don't miss anything that's underwater here. And I got myself some more diamond. Excellent. I love it. I love it. Uh, nothing else. Nothing else. Let's get rid of this wool here, then. Not a whole lot left to do. Although I hear stuff on fire, and I'm not sure if that's supposed to be. Checkpoint 2. Checkpoint 2. Let's open up the door. Choose a path. Make sure you choose the correct... Ooh! That, that's reassuring in so many ways. Great, some sort of maze. See you on the other side. I'm not going to start completely over because that's the whole point of checkpoints. Uh, when it goes this way. Off to the left. I have never done this before. I have no idea if I'm getting this right. But we shall see. And it didn't say if I need... It really didn't say if I needed to play this map on peaceful. Wrong way, water station. That actually makes this the right way because I hit diamond. So that's kind of exactly what I wanted to hit. I could say all I want that I didn't want to go the wrong way, but you know what? If there's diamond in that path, then that's the right way to go. I actually played a map somewhat recently that uh, it was somewhat like this, but I just didn't like it as much. But there were two paths that you could choose, and one of them led to a, a, a spider spawner. And I actually ended up missing that spider spawner. So I thought to myself, you know, that was the wrong... That probably would have been the... Uh, that probably would have been the r wrong way to go. And then I realized, oh, and this is checkpoint three. Do not go down there. I'm actually going to go back here really quick. I feel like I might have missed some more diamond. But yeah, anyways, there was a spider spawner in an area, and there was actually a chest. Like, it's very similar to this, except it was collect slime balls. So, oh, it doesn't look like there's anything more here. But yeah, the goal is to collect slime balls. And uh, there was actually a chest with, like, many, many, many slime balls in that particular mm. room. Though there are a lot of slime balls in every single chest anyways. Alright, so... Perfect. I see a switch here. Checkpoint 3. Do not go down there. I'm gonna go down here. Let's make sure there's no switches. feel like there might be a spawner in here. I'm not sure. Can't hide a button underwater either. Ooh, TNT. Like, like crazy... 